This evening's art section of Cooking with Chris is uh, to draw a combination of dala and cells, I'll draw the cells in a second, of the ingredients that are gonna be used for the raw uh, potato latkes. I drew this circle with a compass and I actually drew two circles because I'm pretty sure that I want a border around there. So now I'll do my swooping line and I'll start this way this time. Whoop. Okay, so that's gonna be my swooping line. And then I'm also going to do cells because I've been talking about cells a lot and I haven't really shown anyone what I mean by cells. If you've been following me for a couple of years, then you probably know what I mean by cells, but if not, here we go. I'm drawing just arbitrary rectangles, and I will be putting different shapes in my arbitrary rectangles. I do the same thing with my cells that I do with the dollars, meaning that I, I move in closer to an object or back from an object, I can focus on an object that is also located somewhere else. And I'm doing this because I want borders around all of these too. And I have found that it helps to add them in the beginning so that I can overlap when I want to and not overlap when I don't want to. Plus I can work out things like that. All right, now I'm gonna move right into my pen.
I forgot to turn the camera on, so I'll just go over what I did. I drew in this avocado slice right here, and then I drew in the edge of the latke right there, and I went in, this is another avocado slice, and a bit of a leaf of the greens. I extended the a piece of green outside the border over here and over there, and I made a nice little jiggy jaggy piece of green. This is a little bit more of the latke. I have more green all through here. This is another avocado slice. There. This is another avocado slice. And this is an avocado slice. And I'm leaving this empty. So the next step is to paint it in. We'll see. I may end up putting some kind of pattern in. This area is going to need something. And it might be that it's just a connector like that. That might do it. And I'll pretend that that's the edge of a table, even though it wasn't, and a tiny little shadow there. And here, I think, well, I'm doing it, so I'm not just thinking it, I'm doing it. I'm putting another line to make a border similar to that one. Now the problem comes right there, where I have my potato overlapping. I don't think I've done this before, where I've made a border out of the swooping lines, but that's probably exactly what this needs. That's what I love about just creating it as you go. So that might not even be, ne well, I still think that's necessary. In fact, I think I'll confuse things a little bit by making that a double line. And then these, I'll extend, because this was a really bizarre looking potato anyway. And now I can go ahead and eat my breakfast.